Hey everyone, this is Lisa from physicalcanvas.com and today I have a J. Crew inspired rope necklace tutorial for you. I saw it on their website for $88 and it's completely sold out. So I thought, why not create a tutorial for you so that you'd be able to replicate this own your own look. Plus, it's under $8, so it can't you can't beat it. So stay tuned. Let's get started with the supplies. Sharp scissors to cut through the cord, a hot glue gun, clear crystals in varying shapes, and multicolored rhinestones for a pop of color, which I didn't end up using, but you're free to use. Also, clasp to secure the necklace once it's finished. And last but not least, this parachute cord, because it's pretty durable to support the crystals and brightly colored, similarly to the J. Crew necklace, which was key to replicating. After you've unwrapped the cord from the packaging, the first step is to measure three pieces that are a little over 20 inches long to braid your rope. Now remember, when you're braiding the rope, it's definitely going to shrink, so you have to decide how long you want your necklace. Since I wanted to make a versatile necklace that could be worn with a collar blouse or with a long fitting tee, I decided to have it fall right below my collarbone. Secure your three cords with tape to prevent it from moving around and start to braid the pieces. Make sure to keep the spaces nice and tight to avoid spacing which will cause the braid to separate. Continue braiding until you get to the end of the rope and then make a little tie by taking one cord and wrapping it around the two pieces to secure the ends. The last thing you want is for your braid to become undone and have to start all over again. Because parachute cord is so malleable, it's easy to bend and shape the necklace to your liking, which is important when rounding out any sharp edges after you've braided your cord. Next, trim any extra pieces beyond the secured end portions. This will help to easily place the cord ends into the closure when you've completed the necklace. Now that the necklace itself is complete, it's time to add the crystals. There's really no wrong way to place the crystals, so I chose the largest crystal as my anchor and then positioned the remaining ones in mini clusters. Doing this really adds to the chunkiness of the necklace to create an overall statement piece. I originally liked the idea of the multicolored crystals, but thought it was unnecessary to add. The contrast between the neon green and the different size crystals was enough to make it stand out and I didn't want it to clash with the spectrum of colors. Untie the secured knot and braid the remainder to the very end. While holding one end, grab your hot glue gun and add a heavy amount of glue on the braided cords. Then push the cord ends into the clasp so that it's secure. Let it dry for about 15 minutes and you are all set. Now you've got the perfect statement necklace for less than $8. Even if you're not the craftiest person, you can still do this simple DIY and save yourself some extra cash. Here's what my necklace looks like when I accessorized it with the dress I made a few years ago. I love the bright colors that complete my overall summer look. So what do you think? Let me know if you've made your own statement necklace by leaving a comment below or tagging me on social media. I'll be creating more DIY tutorials in the future, so subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos. Trust me, I have plenty more in the works. But in the meantime, go to physicalcanvas.com to view my style, beauty, and travel posts and follow me on my social media channels. Thanks for watching!